Now it's time to move on to editing and customizing. You will find your editing and timeline tools on the bottom left of the screen. You can move your playhead to a point you want to cut. And if you hit the scissors icon, you can split that clip into two separate clips. And if you need to duplicate a clip, you can select it, then hit this duplicate button. And if you ever need to delete anything, select it and then just hit this trash icon. It's also super easy to rearrange clips inside of Rush's timeline. Just click and drag clips to rearrange them. And as you do this, the clips respond by automatically shifting over. And by dragging the orange handles at the end of each clip, you can shorten or lengthen a clip. So if a clip has more video in it, you can drag it out to reveal more of that video clip. Or if you wanna cut out some of that video, you can drag it to the left. And there are a couple other timeline tools that you should know about. For example, if you click on the expand audio icon in the lower left, it will reveal the audio associated with your video clip. And when you do this, you can shorten or lengthen the audio separately from the video portion. You can also see that Rush has placed icons on some of the audio clips here in the timeline. So what Rush has done is it's identified what type of audio automatically that you have in your timeline. For example, you might see a music icon or a voice icon. So this will enable you to easily identify what type of audio you have and optimize it so it sounds better. And below the expand audio icon is the track controls icon. Turning this on will reveal the track controls. So this lets you lock, mute, or even hide entire tracks in the timeline. And Rush supports up to four video tracks and three audio tracks. And at the very bottom here, you can move this bar to scroll through the timeline quickly, and you can grab the circles on the end of this bar so you can zoom in and out of the timeline. So once you're done rearranging and editing your video, you can then use Rush's refinement tools on the right to add finishing touches. If you click on titles here, you can choose one of Rush's awesome built-in title templates to use in your video. In part four, I'll be going into depth on titles. So let's move on to the next item, transitions. You can drag one of these preset transitions between two clips to create a clean fluid transition between them and below transitions are color presets. You can click on the clip that you want from the timeline and then select a color preset of your choice. And at the bottom, you can control the intensity of that preset with this slider. You can also have further color customization control by clicking on this edit tab. Then next is audio. So the audio tools here let you control the overall clip volume if you need to and there's lots of advanced controls as well. So for example, if you have a music clip in your timeline, if you select it and under advanced, you can choose auto duck and the music volume will then automatically lower against any other audio types like voice that you have in your timeline. So you can move the slider to adjust how much you want the music to duck in volume. And if you look closely after the process is done in the music track, you can see there are shadow dips so indicating the points at which the music automatically ducked. So this is extremely useful for helping you edit fast and getting your video out the door. And the last refinement tool here are the transform tools. Here you can control the position, rotation and scale of the clip just using these sliders. But if you click on the clip in the monitor, you can actually make adjustments just by moving and resizing the blue handles. And under advanced, you can use the crop tools to crop the top, bottom, left or right of the image as you wish. So that is your introduction to editing and refinement tools inside of Rush. In the next video, you will learn how to take your videos further with customized titles.